In today's world, we are constantly bombarded with motivational messages and inspiring content, all aimed at helping us achieve our dreams and goals. However, motivation alone can only get us so far. To truly succeed, we need to put in the work and embrace repetition, as there are no shortcuts to accomplishing significant goals, such as learning a new skill or obtaining a degree. It's easy to be motivated, but without action, we remain stagnant. Many people struggle with the repetitive actions required to achieve their goals, as they lack the essential key to success, self-discipline. Discipline is often misunderstood and associated with strict regimens, like those found in military training or boarding schools. However, self-discipline is what gets the job done, ultimately leading to inner peace and reduced stress, as structure and predictability help alleviate the uncertainty in life. Stoic philosophers consider discipline a virtue, along with other related qualities such as perseverance, endurance, and self-control. They believed in hard work and spending their days wisely, as demonstrated by Seneca's teachings on not wasting time and Marcus Aurelius's observations on nature. The Cambridge Dictionary defines self-discipline as the ability to make oneself do things that they know should be done, even when they don't want to. This requires self-control to resist engaging in activities that don't contribute to our goals, as well as a drive to work and a clear target to work towards. While self-discipline may seem easy in theory, many people struggle with its three dimensions, self-control, work, and aim. These aspects were highly regarded by ancient Stoics and are deeply embedded in Stoic philosophy. Stoics were not lazy. They knew that living in agreement with nature meant being productive, active, and contributing to the greater good. They believed in using our inherent attributes properly, as illustrated by Epictetus's example of Hercules, who became a hero by using his powerful physique and noble soul to overcome adversity and serve society. So how do we cultivate self-discipline, according to Stoic philosophy? Let's examine some relevant Stoic principles. Epictetus, a prominent Stoic philosopher, proposed that life should be approached like a banquet. This metaphor emphasizes the importance of accepting what is presented to us with moderation and exercising self-control. This approach is essential to developing self-discipline as it enables us to resist engaging in activities that do not contribute to our long-term goals. For instance, writing a thesis may appear to be a straightforward task. However, many individuals struggle to complete it due to their inability to manage distractions effectively. Although we cannot control the distractions that life presents, we can control our responses and attitudes towards them, ultimately cultivating self-discipline. Developing self-control is an ongoing process that necessitates practice and repetition. As we learn to overcome distractions and temptations, their influence over us diminishes. This loss of power allows us to experience freedom within the context of discipline, granting us the ability to act according to our intentions and avoid being controlled by external circumstances. This sense of control is vital in maintaining focus and determination, both of which are crucial for achieving our goals. In addition to self-control, work is another fundamental aspect of self-discipline. Stoic philosophers believed that work was not only essential, but also an intrinsic part of our natural design as humans. Industriousness, a subcategory of the Stoic virtue of courage, embodies the habit of being active and engaged in meaningful pursuits. To be self-disciplined, we must be industrious and consistently take action towards the completion of our tasks and the achievement of our goals. Industriousness is closely linked to our sense of purpose and motivation. When we engage in activities that align with our values and long-term objectives, we are more likely to remain committed and disciplined. This alignment creates a virtuous cycle in which our industriousness feeds our self-discipline, and our self-discipline reinforces our industriousness. By actively pursuing our goals, we develop the resilience and perseverance necessary to overcome obstacles and setbacks. Moreover, Fostering self-discipline through self-control and industriousness enables us to make better decisions and prioritize our time and resources effectively. By focusing on what truly matters, we can resist the lure of short-term gratification and invest our energy into activities that yield long-lasting benefits. This approach to life ultimately leads to greater satisfaction, fulfillment, and success. Becoming more industrious is a goal many aspire to, but the road to achieving it can be unclear. Marcus Aurelius the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, offers us insight into the root of laziness and how we can overcome it. He suggests that laziness is born from a lack of love for oneself 
and one's natural inclination to work. By embracing our nature and finding joy in being industrious, we can overcome laziness and procrastination. To begin the journey of becoming more industrious, it is crucial to develop self-awareness and self-compassion. Understanding our strengths, weaknesses, and motivations can help us identify the sources of our laziness and recognize the areas of our lives where we need improvement. By cultivating self-compassion, we can forgive ourselves for past mistakes and failures, giving us the courage to move forward and strive for growth. Once we have developed self-awareness and self-compassion, the next step is to cultivate a growth mindset, embracing the belief that our abilities, intelligence, and character can improve through consistent effort and dedication will encourage us to persevere in the face of challenges. By adopting a growth mindset, we empower ourselves to keep pushing our boundaries, even when the road to success is steep. Furthermore, to become more industrious, it is essential to identify our passions and interests. Engaging in activities that genuinely ignite our curiosity and enthusiasm will make it easier to maintain motivation and commitment. When we are passionate about our work, it no longer feels like a chore, but instead becomes an exciting journey of discovery. Establishing healthy routines and habits can also significantly contribute to our ability to be industrious. By setting aside time for regular reflection and self-assessment, we can better understand our progress and identify areas where improvement is needed. Additionally, creating routines for daily exercise, proper nutrition, and sufficient sleep will provide us with the energy and mental clarity required for sustained productivity. Having a clear and strong aim in life is essential for developing self-discipline. Without a specific goal or purpose, we can easily fall into the trap of aimlessness, wasting time and energy on short-term pleasures or meaningless activities. In today's world, the abundance of choices can be overwhelming, leading many to feel paralyzed and unable to commit to a single direction. However, choosing a particular goal and focusing our efforts on it can bring clarity and motivation to our lives. To establish a clear aim in life, it is helpful to set smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. These criteria ensure that our goals are well-defined, realistic, and trackable, increasing the likelihood of success. Additionally, breaking down larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks can make the process less daunting and help us stay on track. Developing a strong support network is another essential factor in becoming more industrious. Surrounding ourselves with like-minded individuals who share our values and aspirations can provide encouragement, motivation, and accountability. By fostering connections with others who are also striving for growth and improvement, we can learn from their experiences and benefit from their wisdom. In order to become more industrious, it is crucial to cultivate resilience and adaptability. Life is unpredictable, and we are bound to face setbacks and disappointments along the way. Developing the ability to bounce back from adversity and adjust our strategies when necessary will enable us to maintain our momentum and continue making progress toward our goals. Marcus Aurelius advised against drifting through life, encouraging us to be proactive and take control of our destinies. He stated, Stop drifting, sprint to the finish, write off your hopes, and if your well-being matters to you, be your own savior while you can. This powerful statement emphasizes the importance of taking control of our lives and exercising our power to choose and act deliberately. We cannot simply wait for success and fulfillment to come to us. We must actively pursue them. Developing self-discipline and persistence is critical for becoming more industrious. It is easy to start a new endeavor with enthusiasm, only to lose steam when faced with obstacles or when the novelty fades. However, true progress requires a long-term commitment and the ability to stay focused on our goals, even when the path becomes difficult or the initial excitement wanes. One effective way to develop self-discipline is by implementing the concept of delayed gratification. This practice involves resisting the temptation of immediate rewards in favor of pursuing long-term goals that will ultimately lead to greater satisfaction and fulfillment. By learning to prioritize our long-term objectives over short-term pleasures, we can train ourselves to remain focused and committed to our pursuits, even when faced with distractions or challenges. Another strategy to strengthen our self-discipline is by setting and adhering to personal boundaries. These boundaries may involve allocating specific periods for work and leisure, limiting our exposure to distractions, or making a commitment to self-improvement activities, such as exercise or learning new skills. By establishing and enforcing these boundaries, we create a structure that supports our industriousness, 
and enables us to stay on track toward our goals. Developing a sense of personal responsibility is also crucial in becoming more industrious. Recognizing that our success and well-being ultimately depend on our own actions and decisions, we must be willing to hold ourselves accountable for our choices and their consequences. This sense of responsibility empowers us to take charge of our lives, driving us to make better choices and strive for constant improvement. The ancient Stoic's wisdom remains relevant today as we seek to develop self-discipline in our lives. By practicing self-control, embracing our natural inclination to work, and establishing a clear aim, we can cultivate the strength and determination needed to achieve our goals. Moreover, by adhering to the principles of Stoicism, we can also attain inner peace, as the structure and predictability provided by self-discipline help to reduce the stress of uncertainty. So, take a moment to reflect on your own life. Are you exercising self-control and resisting distractions? Are you actively working toward a specific goal or aim? If not, consider what changes you can make to incorporate the wisdom of the Stoics and develop the self-discipline necessary to achieve your dreams. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. So be your own savior and start taking control of your destiny today.